What is up, Best Ones Worldwide? It's the Best One, Donnie, here back with another monthly wrestling figure haul. These are the figures that didn't make the cut in my videos that I picked up in the month of June. But before we get into all the good stuff, if you're not a Best One yet already, and obviously you're into wrestling figures, but if you're also into... Funko Pops Nickelodeon, late 90s, early 2000s, or basketball, and you want to watch me rebuild my collection, or come on the toy hunts with me and live my nostalgic memories, recommend you to hit that subscribe button, now turn on the post notifications, because of course you already know, the grind is real. And we got some awesome pickups to show you guys from the month of June, so with that being said, Let's get it. The grind is real. So, our first figure we got for the month of June in this haul video, it's gonna be all over the place because we got elites, we got basics, we even got some rare figures as well, and we even have a Clarence figure I got during one of my Walmart toy hunts, which I did like a whole month of toy hunting, and there it is here. We got Absolute Ricky Starks, which the reason why I got this was because of the price, don't really care for the FTW title, which that title seemed like somebody took it, but um, yeah, we're going to unbox this. Can't go wrong for $11, I feel like. I don't think that's a bad deal at all here, but um, there it is right there. We got good old Absolute, which Ricky Starks, he is one of my favorite guys in AEW, which I know he won't be there much longer, but... I do already have his figure, Minton card. I have this one, not signed, but I do have his Series 9 autographed and the Chase, which is cool. But, um, never had one loose for the collection, so that's going to change today. And you can never go wrong for, like, Clarence for $11. Definitely can't go wrong. But here it is, guys. We got good old Ricky Starks here. Out of the package, which I gotta say, this is definitely a massive upgrade from his first figure here. Definitely looks a lot better, like out of the package than in the package here. But, um, yeah, there it is, guys. We got good old Ricky Starks here. I love the white gear, like, this is one of my more favorite gears of Ricky Starks. But such a cool figure to add to the collection, especially on Clarence can't go wrong. Moving on now to our next figure in our random June haul here. We got WWE Elite Series 92 Scarlet. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm not a fan of the head sculpt, but the reason I finally decided, you know, let me just get this Scarlet is because she's not blonde anymore and I feel like we're never going to get an Elite with the way that the Final Testament have been booked so far in WWE. And this is just during her time when she was with Carrion, so I figured this would just be a great figure for the collection. Which, do got to give a shout out to my dad for picking this up. I believe he was away on vacation in like the beginning of June, and he asked me like what figures like I'm looking for, and... He showed me this, and I realized I never had it in my collection, so I had him pick it up. So, shout out to my dad for that. But here it is, with Scarlet. We do get, like, the time glass, which is cool. We also get some interchangeable hands. Pretty cool figure. Like, I feel like the rendering images were so much worse than, like, the actual figure itself. Yeah. But it's still not, like, one of the best figures. And here it is, guys. This is actually really not that bad. I thought that the head sculpt was like 10 times worse on this thing, but it's really not bad, and I really like the details, too. Like, why did I sleep on this figure? 
This is actually not a bad, not a bad one at all. Like, I think the head sculpt looks pretty good on this one. I don't know about you guys, but pretty good here. And with the Scarlet, I do love that, like, we do get the hair, like, all, like, tied up there, which does look good. I think it should have been a little bit more blonder. I do like the headpiece that we do get there as well with her. Looks really good. I think the head sculpt was a lot better than I thought it was. Definitely a lot better than I thought it was. Which was one of the reasons why I passed on this vigor a long time ago. But I do like the spikes that we get, like, on the shoulders there. I also love, like, what they did here with, like, the hands. With, like, the big nails there. I think that that looks good. I love the gear choice we do have here. The all black going on. Fishnets. And we do get, like, these high heels as well. Such a really underrated figure, in my opinion. I can't believe I slept on this one. I should have gotten it when it first came out. But, hey, we got it. And we're going to add it to the collection. We're going to put her right with Carrion Cross. Moving on now to our next figure we have here. We have a Knuckle Cruncher, Seth freaking Rollins, which, not going to lie to you guys, I got a couple of these the last couple of months because I was going to do a YouTube short here on the channel, but I feel like it's too late already to do one of those. So at this point, I am probably just going to be reselling this. Don't really need this in the collection. I don't know, I'm just not the biggest fan of the Knuckle Crunchers. I only got it for experimental purposes, and yeah, I never got to it, so it's too late now. We're just going to probably just sell this when we go to a flea market or something. But there it is, we got Seth freaking Rollins, guys. Moving on now to our next figure here, we have a part of the new main event series, which is formerly known as The Basics. We got Series 147, Seth freaking Rollins, which, not going to lie to you guys, I was going to pass on this one because of the new Elite 109, but I really like the gear choice on this Rollins, so that's like kind of what swayed me. And I have a feeling when I see Braun Breaker and Seth Rollins with like the leopard pants, I have a feeling that I'm probably going to end up picking that up. Just because of, like, having an updated Braun Breaker head sculpt and stuff like that. But here it is, guys. We got our good old basic Seth freaking Rollins. Don't know what I'm going to do with this. Because I don't really need, like, another one on my shelf. Like, I have that Ultimate and I already have the Elite 109. So I really don't know what I'm going to do with this Rollins here. But I thought that this was just such cool gear here. And I... Like, I love that we get the new articulation with these. Like, I do like that. It's cool, but, like, why can't the knees bend? That's, like, my issue with these figures. Like, the original basics back in the day, the knees could bend. What? I just need, I need to stop, like, falling for these traps. I feel like they just give us better gear so that we purchase these. But there it is. We got Seth freaking Rollins here. I just love the gear. That's, like, what made me decide to get this. I'm a sucker, I know. Moving on now to our next figure here, also a part of the main event series 147. We got Katana Chance, first time in the line. So now we are looking for that series 148, Caden Carter. I feel like we're going to end up getting her, and she's going to be a part of July's haul, hopefully. But I decided to wait on these because ringside, it was just a little too much money for them, but hey, people are spending the money, so I don't blame Ringside whatsoever for putting these up for $30. i just rather wait and spend $15 or less. But here it is. We're going to take her out of the package, and I thought the light blue was the regular, but apparently I think that's the chase with this. Or they just decided to change the gear last minute, which is probably what they did because I think Million Dollar Man is the chase. I did see that comment on my toy hunt there, but here it is. We got Caden Carter, which, like, you've got to be f***ing kidding me. Wow. Wow. This is not fake. This is not an AEW figure where I can put it back together. 
Wow. Why did I bend her knees? Oh, yeah. Look at I got a broken figure. That, that's great. Look at that. Woo. Let it focus. Damn. Well, don't think there's any chance of fixing that. I'm not going to super glue it. So now, guys, I am going to be on the hunt now for another Katana chance. But good thing she... I've been able to find her at my Walmarts. But I just got back from a Walmart trip. Literally. I am so... Oh, man. I was looking forward to reviewing this figure. I hate the new basics. Moving on now to our next figure here. Hopefully this one won't break because the knees, you can actually bend them. We have a Topps Picks WWE Elite Rey Mysterio. And this one really caught my eye. Like, I really just... I need a modern Rey, and i just been waiting for the longest time for the right one, which I know there's this LWO5 pack coming out, which I will be reviewing once it comes in. But the Rey Mysterio is not in wrestling gear. So I did want one in wrestling gear, so we decided to go with this one here, which I'm excited because a lot of my Rey Mysterios that are in my collection, they're WCW or they're like Ruthless Aggression. So we don't really have a modern Rey in the collection. So I am excited about this here. Hopefully this one doesn't break on me because that would really suck. And there we go, which... Here, here's what it looks like coming out of the package. There's good old Rey Mysterio. Pretty cool. But we are going to switch out the hands. I don't like those fist hands. You guys already know that first hand. Not a fan of the fist. So we are going to take those out here. But here it is, guys. We got good old Rey Mysterio here. I really like this one a lot. So with this Rey Mysterio here... I love the blue and the pink. I feel like it coordinates really well with the figure. I do love the iconic mask he has here. He's got the blue mohawk going on. And he's got the cross, the pink cross on the top. With the wings going on the side here. I feel like Ray's got the best lucha mask like out of anybody. But also, we do get this cool cut-up LWO shirt. Which I think is kind of nice. Like It reminds me of like Shawn Michaels during the Ruthless Aggression era. I love the arm pieces that we do get here on Ray. He's got his logo. He's got like the mystery, which is cool. And then we also even get like the athlete's um, shoulder tape here on him, which is I think a really nice addition to the figure. You don't really get that often, which I think is so freaking cool. I also love the pink gloves on Ray. We got the full sleeves. The tattoos look amazing. And then, of course, we do have, like, the blue and the pink and the white gear going on. I love the designs all around here. Rey Mysterio's got the word go on the side here, which is nice. And then we got Rey 619. And then I love the white boots as well with his logo going on as well. I gotta say, this is a really underrated figure. And I'm so happy I waited for the right modern Rey to add into this collection. I'm sure, like, I'm gonna be freaking switching these, like, freaking hot potato now that I got my first one. But such a sick Rey Mysterio. So excited to finally add him to the modern shell. Moving on now to our next figure here. One of the figures that I really didn't expect to pick up at all during my Walmart toy hunt. And that is the Monday Night War Series 2 Triple H figure here. Just such an awesome figure with Teddy Long's head. Which I do plan on getting another one of these because I do want to make a custom Ruthless Aggression General Manager to Theater Long. But in order to do that, I do need two Teddy head sculpts. So I am going to be picking up another one of these probably. But this is the only one we have as of right now. For the haul, I'm not going to be unboxing this because I do want to wait until I get the rest of the set, which pictures have leaked that we are getting a new SummerSlam display and it will have Series 2 Monday Night Wars on it. So guys, expect some Walmart toy hunts to come to the channel real soon. 
because you know I am going to try to get my hands on this entire set. Even if I have to go to Walmart every day, I'm going to try my best to get this because, man, we need to get, we already got Series 1, we got Series 3 already pre-ordered, we need to get Series 2. And, man, I can't wait to open this Triple H up. It's tempting, but we gotta wait. Moving on now to one of our grails. The reason why you probably clicked on this video here. I do gotta give a shout out to one of my We Are Wrestling Maniacs, Jeremy, for the deal. He, man, he was selling a lot of his pieces that he had in his collection. I saw this one, I gave him a good offer, and he took it. And you guys all know, I love to keep my Defining Moment figures mint on card, and we got them. WrestleMania 25, Shawn freaking Michaels. Man, the Defining Moments line is my favorite Mattel line. I just love, like, the whole meaning, the purpose of it. I feel like they kind of gone downhill with the newer ones, but... It is what it is, but we got the sick Shawn Michaels. I remember having this figure as a kid when it first came out. I was so excited to unbox it, and I use the Shawn Michaels a lot back in my fig fed. But obviously, we're going to be keeping this in the package here. And with the Shawn Michaels, of course, on the top here, we do get his name, Shawn Michaels. And we get underneath it the 25th anniversary of WrestleMania. I love the gear choice that we do have here because Shawn Michaels found God. So he went with this whole white gear during his entrance for WrestleMania. He's got the white hat going on, which is opposite of Undertaker's black hat. And then Shawn Michaels has the white jacket, which Undertaker's always worn the black jacket. So I really do like that a lot. I think it looks great as a cloth good. And we even get the vest underneath there. The white and the gold going on, which is the gear he worn for this WrestleMania. Defining Moments logo at the top, which looks amazing. I love the picture of him on the side here. And then on the back, we get the date of the defining moment here. Shawn Michaels nearly ends the dead man's WrestleMania streak. And then we get this nice little description here of this defining moment, which, man, there's so much effort that's, like, put into these, which is why I love the defining moments line. And I hope one day I can get this signed by Shawn Michaels because he is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. And finally, last but not least, another Shawn Michaels grail we got. And I got this because... I've been seeing it on WWE Shop for a minute now, and there was a great deal on it. I actually got this, like, pretty much $75 off. So, instead of paying $300, I pretty much only had to pay $215, which is not bad at all for a figure like this. And normally, in my rules, I have to get them signed. But I made the exception for Sean because he is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. And I am trying to get all my defining moments signed, which I feel like I'm never going to be able to do. But, um, they had this and I couldn't say no. This is like my third figure in the collection. So now I'm going to sell the one that I have not signed. We got an autographed defining moment, Sean freaking Michaels with the Fanatic sticker which is the authentication of this signature, which, oh man, looks so good with the paint marker. Can't believe I actually own this here. Like, I do like how, like, the newer Defining Moments are smaller to boxes, but I just like the meaning of the older ones. They just had more meanings in the line. But man, with this Shawn Michaels here, oh boy, this is sick. We get his name right at the top, and then... Of course, Shawn Michaels, he's got his cowboy stuff on. This was from Royal Rumble 1997. I love the signature here. We got Shawn Michaels, HBK, which is cool. We get the authentic sticker right underneath the ringside collectible sticker. Love the Defining Moments logo. Great promo picture on the side. And then on the back, we get a nice little description and a picture from Royal Rumble 1997. But guys, I am so excited to own this now in the collection. 
I made the rare exception for this, and now in my defining, in my updated 2023 defining moments four pack, I already got Cody signed. I already got Mankind signed. Now I need to get Brett the Hitman Heart signed, which I will make the announcement here. I will be getting that figure signed at the end of this month in July. I cannot wait. Once I have that, we got all four of these figures signed. I'm so happy I own this. This is such a holy grail now. But I do hope I still one day get to meet Shawn Michaels because he is one of the best. But it seems like right now he's helping Triple H out with WWE. He's not really doing any signings that I know of. So for now, I am going to have to just be okay with this one. But there you have it, guys. That is all... The cool pickups that I got for the month of June. I probably would have made a whole separate video for those Shawn Michaels if I didn't get it towards the end of the month. But I figured, hey, this is my random haul. I gotta add something a little spicy in there. But let me know in the comment section below your favorite pickup of mine that I got in the month of June. Mine has obviously got to be the Shawn Michaels Defining Moments. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button now if you're not a best one yet already. And obviously you're into wrestling figures, but if you also want to check out some Funko Pop videos, Nickelodeon, late 90s, early 2000s, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. New videos are coming out every other day. The link's down in the description box below. You can follow me over on my social medias and other YouTube pages. All that down below. And of course, to all the best ones out there worldwide, we are taking over. Peace.